What's up, guys? New dinos came out today. We got three of them. We got the woolly rhino, the Eurypterid. I'll have to learn how to pronounce that later. And the Dunkelosteus. I'm pretty sure the Eurypterid is like an underwater scorpion which is not tameable the Dunkelosteus is like an underwater anklo get them underwater oil nodes <laughs> and the woolly rhino should be pretty self-explanatory so we're gonna start out going underwater see if we can find some of these underwater scorpions and underwater anklos we're gonna try and tame one of the underwater anklos the word on the street, by street I mean the steam form, is that the underwater anklo guy eats titan boy egg kibble, which I happen to have some of that. And the woolly rhino takes terror bird egg kibble, which I don't have any of that. I was never a fan of the terror birds. The only one I've got is a male. But I should have known better. Should have had a female and had some. been saving up some eggs. Make sure there's not a sea loop crate right outside my base here. Never found it, so I'm not sure exactly where it spawns. Probably be a good idea not to drown. <laughs> shark, shark, ichthy, bunch of fish. You really want to fight a moza? Are you that dumb? how deep in the water these guys are. Man, sharks everywhere. Oh, there's a moza. Die, most of die. Oh, what is that? like the new underwater ink little guy. Dangerous around. Forty. Oh good god. There was nothing around when I hop off. Then out of nowhere. And now he's gonna aggro the ink little guy too. How far are you gonna chase me, Plessy? Come 
here, dude. I think this is a lot faster if I'm right. This guy is gonna tame it, but oh well, I guess we'll see what we get from it. Man, they're tough. Does it have an inventory? Release. Why am I dragging? Oh, because I was. Now I'm inside of it. Great. Well, we get to see the inside of one. That's lovely. Prime meat, meat and chitin. Wow, that was a bunch of chitin. First water diamond you get chitin from. That's interesting. All right, let's see if we can find another one and not accidentally bite it. All right, I had to make a little pit stop here, cook up some food. We're running low on my prime meat jerky I normally eat. Made about five laps around the island. About halfway through the second lap, I started killing off all the water anklos. Trying to get higher level ones to spawn in. Highest level one I've seen is a 96, and it's just off the coast from where I'm at now. And I'm thinking it might be quite a long tame, even with some kibble. So I decided to stop and cook some meat. Clear out a moza, some fuzzies, a bunch of sharks. Hopefully, they haven't respawned. Is that him way up there? Yep, her, oh, 96. guys that might want to interfere. Yeah. 
right here. Very near where I tamed the last Moza. I love that new crossbow sound. Does it not even care that I'm shooting it? now. Uh-oh. It's swim faster than me. That's not good. Sleep. Drag it back over this way. Oh, man. That's ridiculous. That's utterly ridiculous. We'll have to find another one and try again. Alright, we're gonna see if we can knock out a level 16. I'm sure not gonna kibble tank it, but. Just to see. That 96 dying was stupid. Really? I cleared the whole area. Where did those guys come from? Dude, you want to fight? Let's go.
out. Yep, we did. 3,000 torpor on a level 16, huh? Yeah, that's all me. I ain't able to tame in you. <clears throat> sure, all the. Oh, I've got to cook crime actually. I'm spoiled. Torpor drop seems okay. It's not ridiculous. All right. I'm gonna tame up this low-level one, I guess. <laughs> to play with and I'll be back all right Teton only five cooked prime meats and I'm pretty sure the next one will do the job Let's look at these stats 1120 health 240 stamina 2,000 food 910 weight 105 melee damage. And of course, 100% movement speed. That's not bad for a wild level 16. The stamina kind of stinks and the damage kind of stinks. But the health and the weight, pretty good. For such a low level. I can only imagine what that 96 would have had for stats. Especially after it was kibble tamed. Let's see how this guy's stats look. He's done taming here. He's gonna get seven levels. So yeah. Uh, let's look at the saddle. Dun dun dun. Twenty points. So it doesn't say I have to craft it in a smithy or a fabricator or anything. Bad boy. No, it's not my craftables. I bet it's a smithy. It's weird. It doesn't say. Huh. All right. I have to look at the smithy when we get back. Oh. I got gypped. Like a 99.9% .9 taming bar. Give me a break, Ark. Well, you know what? Take that off of him so he'll eat faster. Stop wasting all my cook primes. I may have killed a few plesiosaurs today. <laughs> if you didn't know, when you kill plesies, you get the fireworks flare gun skin. I think I might have killed a couple. There we go! strange creature. Combat oriented for a fish, huh?
once past its prime, can be harvested for a fair amount of chitin. Makes me wonder if it loses stats over time or something crazy. Yeah, I'm missing some of my dossiers now because I played the total conversion mod version of SOTF. I've lost a bunch of stuff. Sixty three forty twenty two eighty six nine twenty eight one forty four so not a large increase there. All right, I'm gonna take this thing back to base and I'm gonna get a saddle crafted for it. All right, finally got the dino back to base. Let's see about making this saddle, giving it a name. Sit in here. Yes, yes it is. Don't go lost, yes. Never get used to that name. Alright, 300 hide, 180 fiber, 120 cementing paste, and 80 metal ingots. It's a little bit expensive for the anklo of the sea. Let's craft it up. I can only imagine what hiring saddles like this are going to cost. Try this guy out. Already got some levels on you, huh? You don't need that junk. Um, I'm gonna wait to level it up till later. I'm not sure what I want to level on it. So I try it out. Let's go chow down. Uh, get it turned around. <laughs> chow down on some metal nodes. Oh my. Yeah, I might just be leveling up movement speed. Holy crap, this thing is so slow. It took quite a while to get it back to base here. oil one bite that's not bad there's a couple more oil notes around always so choppy leaving my base Got too far. Huh. Couldn't get away from anything dangerous. I don't know how good he is in a fight. Wow, that stamina though. Alright. We are up in stamina. And we're gonna up some movement speed on this thing. right here. Oh man, that stamina. It's like gigging out of sore stamina.
it's another one of these guys. Well, that would be convenient if it was high enough level. What level are you? <laughs> Same level. Really? test. Tell the difference in the movement speed. Oh, there's another well node. That's pretty cool, he gets them in one bite. Stats on this are terrible. The stamina in particular. melee damage so you can harvest more per bite I don't plan to take this thing very far from base just bring it out here every now and then when I'm running low on oil I guess alright let's head back
Here we go. We got to try it out. It's not too bad. It's pretty handy for getting oil. Saves me from having to hop off a dyno and use a pick to do it underwater. So that's cool. Oh yeah, let's give him a name. <laughs> there we go. Dunkledore. You're a wizard, Dunkledore. <laughs> quite a bit of oil. It's pretty nice. Alright, I'll get all that later. Alright, there we go. We tamed a Dunkledore. <laughs> I like the purple fins. It's pretty neat. We'll have to find a high level one later on. Apparently my Moza ate some of my Titan Boy egg kibble. And I didn't notice. So, yeah. Well, we tamed one. We got to play with it. Got to build a saddle for it. Try it out. And we'll be on the lookout for a 120. When we find one, we'll make a video of that too. Alright. I'll see you next time.